All right, today we're presented with a Terrapine Carolina, and as you can see, we've got some uh, some maggots in this leg over here. Here's our cute face. <laughs> does does vet school hopeful want to be in the video? No, nodding no. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, so that she was restraining, and in a second we're going to actually uh, pull some of these things out. I've got a local block, but it won't do much good. Anyway, but that's where we're at for now. And in a second we'll show you some after stuff. Focus phone. All right, that's it. All right, here's our girl post-op. There's her minions. Yummy. Anyway, what's kind of cool about today's case compared to other, let's remove the maggots from the turtle cases, is seeing as how when uh, somebody had asked me on YouTube if we knew what these things turned into, I, I wasn't sure myself, so I then called the uh, Fish and Wildlife Service and the naturalists in Jackson, and no one knows what these guys turn into. As a matter of fact, uh, it was, according to some of the naturalists, the first time anybody had heard the turtles were having a problem with, uh, with maggots and myiasis. And, uh, so anyway, that in itself is quite surprising because I probably do 50 cases a year, as you guys can see from the multitude of videos of turtles and maggots. Anyway, so with that in mind, our client here uh, is going to take these home and try and raise these and see if we can find out what they turn into. So this would be awesome. I'm hoping, uh, we actually get to figure some of this stuff out. So don't you guys have looked at maggots for a full minute? <laughs> it's gross you out with something more fun. All right, back to the turtle. Um, anyway, so that's what she looks like now. She's walking around. We used a local block to pull those out. And actually, for once, a local block worked pretty well. She didn't respond in any, any way, shape, or form like there was any pain involved. So that's good news. We'll keep it clean. Um, and hopefully, that will be the end of her problems. Now we just figure out what they turn into. So that'll be cool. Science is ongoing. All right, had this in the in my office. <laughs> my brother had mailed me a uh, a scorpion sample one day to uh, and brought it in this tube. It didn't make it, but I kept the tube because that would be awesome, and it would be kind of cool because we can actually watch these uh, these maggots develop while they're inside this tube so we're gonna add some food to it probably some raw meat of some type uh, hamburger or beef would be cool I, uh, I'd only use a solid chunk and I say a solid chunk because it'll be easier to clean when it starts to get too rotten and they start migrating away from it get rid of it put a fresh piece in there hamburger might not be as easy to move that way that makes sense yeah, a piece of steak or whatever yeah, yeah. Beef, I figure. <laughs> you want something with a little blood in it right I mean something yeah something just just with some meat and they may like it better when it's rotten I'm not so sure like I said this is an experiment so we're gonna grow them in this tube see and figure out what these things are and then when the time comes dad said he was gonna bring back the uh, the flies for us to identify so we can send it off to the lab so this would be kind of cool this is neat I like science <laughs> 